Local students posed for pictures holding a gun inside a high school locker room. And tonight, two of the students from Georgetown's Eastview High School are under arrest. The district says a high school trainer walked into a men's locker room this morning and found six students. One of them was holding a, a handgun. They also had a magazine clip with bullets, but the district could not tell us if it was in the gun. They say the students were passing that firearm around and taking pictures with it. KXA and education reporter Erin Cargile takes an in-depth look. She checked with the largest district in Central Texas to see how many guns have been found so far this school year and what happens when a student is caught with one. Uh, Shannon, up until today, they have all been BB guns. Austin ISD has found six. Round Rock and Leander ISD, zero. Maynard ISD has confiscated two. Strangely enough, both last Friday. The consequences for bringing a BB gun to school are not nearly as severe as a full-on firearm. Eastview High School and Georgetown Police trying to figure out why students had a handgun and bullets in a men's locker room and where did it come from? It had classmates questioning their own safety. They should have better security in the school instead of just letting us walk in. Friday, Maynard ISD caught wind of two elementary students with BB guns in their backpack on the same day. One was at Shadow Glen Elementary, the other at Pioneer Crossing. Both were fourth graders. Neither gun was loaded. Kids, you know, at this age, I'm sure they want to show their friends, you know, that, you know, it's, it's like a show and tell. I mean, Camilo Sachil has a first grader at Pioneer Crossing. I'm not worried. I mean, I'm sure the teachers and staff are, are you know, doing their best to keep the children safe. While they can look very similar, the threat and consequences for bringing a BB gun to school versus a gun classified as a firearm are very different. Getting caught with a BB gun that shoots BBs, not bullets, is a discipline issue handled by the campus principal. Having a firearm in a gun-free zone is criminal and could result in a felony. Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. The Eastview High School case is now in the hands of the Georgetown Police Department. The 